Ali's instructed us to uh, get some coriander in. Uh, I think it's too early. We did this last year and it got frosted up, but uh, we're only drilling about two acres. Uh, so he says he'll pay me whatever, so just fair enough. Um, putting it 25 kilo an acre. Um, and we're putting it at four and a half inch. Usually we drill it at nine inch space, and he wants it at four and a half inch. So we just want to break weather because it's on about quite wet, well, drippy today. So I've just got Ollie off to get some in. So, right, jobs are good. And started spring drilling uh, this hasn't been touched it hasn't been worked for two years now but it wasn't a success last year in fact it was a bloody disaster I don't know why we're doing it again you may I hear, hear you asking but no one can really understand why uh, last year it was about a foot tall and it did about two tonne to acre uh, but I can't understand what it was that cold weather in April we don't know but um, we're drilling Diablo spring barley um, about 350 seeds per square meter so yeah it's going all right in fact I'm going to roll it tomorrow it's just a bit the pig muck has still got a lot of moisture in it what we've put on top uh, give a good coat of pig muck um, and it's still a lot of moisture to pick up but I think it blows like this and it's as sunny as it is I'll get it real tomorrow so um, but yeah, it was just stubble turnip. We drilled it with stubble turnips after harvest last year. But yeah, there was a mixture of stubble turnips, white radish, a bit of mustard in it. A lot of fodder actually, it did really well. And, uh, and we haven't touched it, so let's hope, fingers crossed, it'd be more of a success this time. But nice to get going. Phil's muck spreading. Hopefully we'll get our loader back on Tuesday. Phil's muck spreading using class, caringly. I've told him, use it caringly. You know, because I mean, she's no lady now. I mean, I mean, you won't ask your granny to dig a trench, would you? So, or if you would, you'd ask her to go just steady at her own pace, like. So, but hopefully we'll get man or two back on Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, it's a good job because we're clearing pigs on uh, Wednesday, so we need need it to muck out. But I don't know. It's been a farce from start to finish. I don't know. I ain't saying too much to be fair, because I'm into slating products and people. But no, that ain't very good. I don't think. But. Anyway, not to worry, so... Yeah. Everybody's taking an interest in here. My dad, my uncle, me, Sexy Fingers is the only one doing any work. So yeah, we just started drilling this uh, spring barley. In fact, it's making a right job is the drill. And this is quite hard heavy land down here and uh, yeah, really pouring it in. Got to wash your windows. You can either see how it back up. He's a bit hung, hung over as well. He's, uh, Went out on a school night. It's about ten. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, it's weekend. Sorrowful morning. That's my dad's favourite uh, saying. Joyful evenings and sorrowful mornings. If I've heard it, I must have heard it a million times in my life. <laughs> I'm going to roll it tomorrow. It's just too wet. It's just like moist is the muck, and uh, he's disturbing it a little bit. So I'm going to uh, tomorrow morning get it uh, get it get it rolled so we capture as much moisture as possible. Unless you want to do it. Well, 
Serving fuel look, we're at eight, nearly 8k at uh, 13 and a half hundred revs. So we're lucky we're a record wheel, not using as much fuel as. Uh, Sky unit, sky drill, so I mean, a bit of a poor man's one that. It's 2003, you know, she's an odd, odd girl, but whoever bought it originally would uh, um, meant business, so. But yeah, right, that's it for me. Saturday afternoon, I've been told I'm taking uh, Lydia to the park by Lydia. So that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, if you like these videos, like and subscribe, and uh, we do two a week of a sort of a, f a farm in East Yorkshire, don't take things too serious and uh, don't, you know, real farming as people say. So.